All right, not to stick on one session of recordings for too long, but um, you know, the B side of Let's Go Crazy was Erotic City, and it wasn't on Purple Rain, mystifyingly, and it was still a huge record. It was one of his biggest hits. Yeah. This was, I t you know what, from a DJ point of view, this was the club banger. Like, this was the club. I played the shit out of this yeah. song. Now, do you think it would have been the club banger had it been on the album, or do you think part of its, part of its attraction was that it was rare? Mm. Very good point. Because, it, because for some people, the only time they got to hear this was at the club. Yeah, I, but I, I mean, I heard this on the radio, didn't I? mean, I know it made radio there. You know what? Eventually it did make radio. Because but it was such a... Because yeah. it was such a hit that they did go and make an edited version, but I don't have an edited version on vinyl, and I got a lot of Prince vinyl. Okay. And so what I'm wondering is, what was that? What is that radio version from? Because that's not on here. But Probably I, the 45, because I had a 45 of this. And and 40, you, was the 45 clean? 40, no. They always knock that. They always, like... Beep. What add up? Okay. Yeah. But there's also, I mean, actually, Kale, you see out here, got fined for playing the original oh, yeah. version. Yeah, yeah. So that's right. what I'm saying. I yeah. don't know yeah. if it was a radio hit yeah. per Good se, because I think Good a lot point. of radio probably stayed scared Good of it. You but know? That's probably but also, why it wasn't pushed as a like, hit, and, and why it didn't make another. It didn't make an album. And also, I wonder if it would have been as potent on the album because of When Doves Cry. I think. Good point. You know what I'm saying? Because the album kind of did a good job of showing different. Yeah. And the album went with the movie. So it's kind of like, well, how do you put this on the album without putting it in the movie? And also, how do we justify Good point. having two funk jams when he obviously was trying to go across the board yeah. kind of with that record? You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, and I'll say this. I mean, like, you know, the dance floor doesn't know it's rare. So I think, you know, yeah. I mean, they, they know a jam, a jam. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, so, I mean, we know as, like, record heads, you yeah. know? So, I mean, I think it's just... You know, incredibly quality Prince Jam. I used to play this with uh, Jesse Johnson um, right after it. Uh, don't, don't, don't. Uh, I can't remember the Jesse Johnson song now, but it was an older song. I yeah. used to play it right after. The colorful it, one, the colorful yeah, yes. record. Yeah, hold up. It, it, uh, um, oh, I can't think of the Jesse Johnson. Anyway. I'm going to say this is probably stupid, but it had the word hot in it. Was it like uh, too hot or? No. Free World. I used to play with Free World, which was the B side of a just of a Jesse Johnson single. That it had like a big under. I used to play that behind this and cleared the floor every time. Uh, <laughs> Never worked. He, at least but he's this honest. Worked, but but yeah, I used to play. It's, for me, I used to play Jesse Johnson right after Free World. I, I don't. I feel like anybody. If you play this, you should just play When Doves Cry. You True. should go from this into When Doves yeah. Cry and just because it, it'll turn it up, but not. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because when Doves Cry is actually a little bit, it is, it's but it'll somber. still make people be like, "Oh shit!" Like that, yeah. you're, you're fucking tripping. You know, yeah. like. All right, Erotic City, Prince. It's a great song.